with bees in their mouth, and when they bark, they shoot bees at you. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of CEX Cobb Exchange, live at the Booter. And I've been looking forward to this episode for quite a while. Finally got around to editing it. Awesome pickups again in this one. Retro pickups. And there's some credit there as well for CX for more things. But yeah. But the main thing is obviously these retro pickups which we've got the car boot. Awesome, awesome, awesome finds. Let's check it out. How much is your game boy? Um eight quid. Do six on it. Yeah. Yeah. You got any more yeah. game stuff, or is it just just no, that? No, just that. We had oh. the BTA, but oh, right. we <laughs> had it up because got out of the car. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. What a find! Box Game Boy, two games, six pound. She wanted eight, but I knocked it down because I'm a cheapskate like that. Not the best condition. The Game Boy it was missing the lens, and it was really yellowed. But for six pound, great price. No hole in the wall if it starts stopping. Oh, I know. Tell me, actually, our cheese carpets stayed up to last year, so whether they win or not, I hope they do. Yeah, it'd be nice to have the option. Yeah. Because uh, you wonder if the fraud. How much are your games? You pay what they're. And they're not so nice. Morning, fella. How much are the games? Uh. Ten for the three. Okay. <coughs> Just that one. Which one is it, mate? That one. Oh, two quid. Go on then. Cheers. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, fella. So the first bit of CX fodder we've got is a copy of The Sims 3 there for PS3. He wanted ten pounds for them free games, but when I asked how much just that one, it was two pounds. So don't know what that was about, but I'll take it. How much is the connect? Ten, okay. How much is the Game Boy? Uh, two pounds. With the games, yeah? Yeah. Them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go, thank you. Oh my god, more retro goodness. More Game Boy at the car boot. Three pounds for that Game Boy. And I believe it came with six games. I'll pull a picture up of the games. The actual Game Boy was in pretty bad condition. 
Um, someone has scratched the name in it. Um, the back label was peeling off, so I just took to CX and got some credit for it. Awesome. Awesome find. Yeah, I've got another one here. It's really all somewhere in here, I think. How much is the box set? Mum, box set. The Harry Potter one. That, I really want £3 for that, mate. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, but all right. I've got two. Uh, <laughs> I've got Harry Potter. Oh, cool. No, no, no. There you no, go. Pound, it's a good one. Thank Lovely. you. Thank cheers. you very much. Nice little find here. Harry Potter, complete collection on Blu-ray. £3. I was kind of shocked. I thought she was going to say something like £10. So when she said three pounds, I was quite surprised, considering it's brand new and sealed still. So some decent PS3 games here, which at the time had pretty decent trading, but the discs were absolutely just so scratched. Not just the underside, just the top as well. Um, so I didn't even bother asking how much they were because they were absolutely scratched beyond repair. How much is the headset? There you go, thank you. How much is your DS game? Two pounds. <laughs> How much is your Xbox? Uh, twenty five pounds. Is that with the games? Are they separate? Uh, yeah. yeah with the yeah. <laughs> it's not that cold. Oh yeah. She got said she's got a wellies on look. Yeah. Yeah, the trouble is that the heater, you see. Yeah, it's Yeah, I think I have as well. You did you want an old pair of work socks on top? Yeah, that's what I need. There you go. I want more wellies. Is there twenty on it? Twenty on the Xbox. You do twenty on it, Adam. Yeah, okay, yeah, go on. Right, look for that side of the game. I don't suppose you've got a bag or something, I can um, just put it in. Box, it oh, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Got a small little Xbox bundle here. Xbox 360, couple of games, extra controller, nothing amazing. Knocked it down from 25 to 20. Traded it all in for 44 pounds, so not terrible there. <laughs> How much should you do for all of them? It's quite a few mystery ones. Um, five off. Go on, then. Go on, then. <laughs> what about cable, though? They were for PlayStation 2. Oh, right. Sorry, darling. Oh, yeah. I know it's just cables, you see. And that is actually... You can never have enough cables. That's off the end, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much are the cables? Um, You can have both for two pounds. And that little thing. 
Let's do a pound for both. Go on then, yeah. Got some more Game Boy games here. Five pounds for all them games. To be honest, there's nothing great there. There's a Pokemon, but it's missing its label. Uh, quite a few fakes. Also grabbed some PS2 cables there for 150. Can never have enough cables. And that's it. That's the last thing I have to show you. A great car boot for retro stuff, or should I say Game Boy stuff, because that's all the retro stuff I got. And some more right bits there to trade in. So let's see what I grab from CX with my voucher. So, I hope you enjoyed that amazing copy footage there. So much retro Game Boy stuff there. Um, really, really happy because you just don't see retro stuff at the car boot nowadays. It's pretty. I mean, it does appear at the car boot, but there's so many people looking for it. So, I was so happy to get that stuff. Um, so, I spent £44.50. I got £96 on a voucher. Now remember, I did keep the box Game Boy and the two games, and I kept all the Game Boy games, pretty much all the Game Boy games. Uh, but I did trade in the, as you saw, the Game Boy Pocket in red, because it was pretty bad. It worked fine, but it was, yeah, someone has scratched the name into it and stuff. So I was just like, yeah, I'll just get rid of that. Um, so it wasn't in the best condition. Um, did I keep anything else? I can't really remember. No, don't think I did. I'm struggling to remember what even. <laughs> I'm shooting this video like so far, so long. It was so long ago I filmed all that. Um, it's quite hard to remember. But yeah, so anyway, we went to CX and we got some awesome stuff uh, and some filler. You got you got have a little you got have a little bit of filler every time you go to CX. Um, but there's a couple of things I'm really happy with. Quite a lot of modern stuff. PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, um, yeah, a couple of things I'm really happy with, or oh, what to start with. I'll start with the two PS4 games, just because they're on top. Um, oh, I can never pronounce this. So a PS4 game, just, yeah, it's Final Fantasy basically, it's a fighting game. It's this one. I should really look up how to pronounce that. Um, and I already had this, but when I saw this awesome steel book, I was like, I've got to get that. Um, and say it's in lovely condition. It's all there. Um, and it's a really, really nice steel book. And the slip cover comes a little slip cover, which is not in the best condition, but. You know, it's good enough. Yeah. And that was, I've stuck it on air because I wanted to get off as soon as possible, £6. So I think I traded mine in, I believe. Did I? I've still got it. <laughs> Maybe I should have sold that. Why? I still have it. I probably should have sold that. <laughs> um... This comes with two thumb stick protectors as well. Um, yeah, so I'll probably get rid of that one. I don't know why I didn't earlier, but uh, yeah. So there we go, six pounds for that one. Um, next up, another PS4 game. And I've been looking at this for a while and I was sort of like, eh. and then I saw it with this sleeve and I was just like, I'm a sucker for a sleeve, what can I say? Uh, and I'm really interested to try this one. And it is The Last Guardian. As you can see, it comes with this awesome sleeve. And there's just a standard game. 12 quid. I think it's still about 12 quid. And say so I bought this months and months ago. Um, no manual. Just start the call. You can say, really interested to try this one. Especially if, if you like Ico and Shadows of the Colossus. Supposedly, it's the same sort of thing. So, well, not the same sort of thing, but... It looks pretty down. Ah, doesn't stay in the slip case very well. Or on there very well. 
Uh, next up is another PS4 game, the last one. Um, and when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm getting that. Definitely. It is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, but it is the, the double pack sort of thing. Excuse me while I try and focus the camera a bit better. Um, and this is just the standard price in CX. It doesn't have... Um, doesn't have like a separate listing so I've got the thing somewhere nope that's the wrong one look at me I'm so prepared <laughs> oh yeah it's right here in front of me um, oh what a great focus we've got there you go tried for 12 pounds that was so a no-brainer, I think it could be gone down a little bit, but it's got the stickers and stuff still sealed, still sealed. And then of course, this really nice steel book of the game, all the pamphlets and stuff. So when I saw that, I was like, definitely getting that. Um, that's another one I already had, um, but I think I traded it in and got like six quid, seven quid on a voucher, so upgraded for like five quid and a paid in voucher so good price um sticking with playstation two ps3 games here we've got sly cooper thieves in time i believe i got this on ps P uh, vita um, so it's pretty good um still plays like the first free in the trilogy but it was 10 pounds and it still it still hovers around that market now so um i'm not sure if you can still play the ps vita version got the old cross by uh next up is a i don't even know what this is to be honest i saw it and thought that's that looks funky uh Muggen, Muggen Soul Z. I'm say I probably butchered that. Say so it's uh, all there. I have no clue what it is. It's a Niz America game, so it's probably some sort of tactical RPG ish, something like that. <laughs> it says it says it's a battle royale. Don't know. Ten pounds. Oh, this is this was a great find. Um, so I'm trying to collect all the big box GameCube games. Um, I've pretty much got most of them. I believe I just need Mario Party Seven, which is probably the most expensive one. But I saw this in my local CX, and I was like, "If that's complete, I'm definitely getting it." And it was complete, and it's Odama with microphone. And this is actually really really nice condition um it has got a game sticker on it which i'm probably going to leave on there because i do not want to risk taking it off um and i think the case it needs a new case on the inside um it's got the microphone there so the game is not in the best condition it it's been a it's had a rough life um so i do need to get a case for that and the disc the disc spindle has snapped. So definitely gonna have to upgrade this at some point. But uh I believe it's in a pretty it's in alright condition still. Ugh, I can't get the disc out. Oh, I'll just leave it in there for now. So the inlay the inlay looks fine, I think, but it's got dents and stuff all over the case. So yeah, definitely gonna need um I don't know if it's supposed to be in like a purple case. Um I thought that was Mario Sunshine, which came in a purple case. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Is this supposed to be in a purple case? Nah. So really happy with that one. I don't know. I mean, it looks, looks quite interesting. But not sure. <laughs> Never played it. Now we're getting down to the last few bits. Um, some real 
<laughs> filler. Like I said, some real filler here. Uh, first up, we've got Just Dance Kids 2014. What a game. So one more for the for the set. So I've already completed the set. This is just one of the ones I've uh, spent, bought with voucher. So I'm going to show it now. £6. Um, I believe it's gone down a bit on that one. So Just Dance game. I'm not sure why I bought this. I just saw it and thought that's cool and good condition. It's Assassin's Creed 3 Join or Die Edition. It comes in really nice condition. Um, it comes with this this little pouch thing <laughs> with a pretty heavy Assassin's Creed like m m what is it a medal? There's not a medal. Um, does it say on it actually? What is it? It's a medallion. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Medallion. This. This thing. What is it? A bookmark? <laughs> the game. And George Washington's notebook. Which is like. A fake. Fake leather looking book. Um, that's quite interesting. So I've got the collects edition, but I don't think it comes with this stuff. They like to put different stuff in different collects editions, I guess. Um, so I've already got it, so I'm not really sure why I bought it again. But it was it was only eight quid, and it's in pretty decent condition. Um, just another one for the Assassin's Creed collection. Not my favourite Assassin's Creed. There was some stuff in it which I found quite um, enjoyable. I think it's the one of the first ones where you can run through the trees and stuff and climb trees, which was quite cool. Um, it's the first one with naval combat, which obviously expanded to be like a main feature of the two after this and some of the later ones as well. I know they, they sort of took, got rid of the naval combat and then they brought it back again for the newer ones because um, I think people... I think the series was dying, and then it got a it got a breath of fresh air when they figured out people really like naval combat, so they started slapping in everything, every single game. So, yeah, not one of my favourites, but I still enjoyed it. Last few, so we've got four three sixty games. The last, the last few things, two fairly decent ones. Um, got the price somewhere. So first we've got Guilty Gear 2. Say, I didn't even know this this came out on on Xbox. So when I saw it, I was like, definitely getting that. Um, that might have come off the internet. I'm not sure. I don't know why I took the sticker off. That was five pounds. May have bought it in store. Or maybe the case was broke. I think the case was broke, and I swapped it out. And then obviously I lost the sticker on the front. That was a fiver. Looks like a fighting game. The only problem is the inlay here, where the case was broke on the old case, I believe. It's punched a hole in the inlay. Um, a schmuck game here. Akai Katana. I believe that's how you say it. Um, nice condition. Again, there's no price on it the front of the box. Uh, I think I've done a case swap on that as well. And that was six pounds. So fairly, I think it's gone up quite a bit now. Could be ten pounds maybe. But it's supposedly a very good schmuck game. And then I had like three pounds left on the voucher. I just thought, ah, just spend it. Um, and I bought two three sixty games for the collection. Um, and they're both um, supposedly not that great. Uh, I bought Tron Evolution, which is actually Telelite. It's supposed to be okay. But uh, you say 150 for this one. Um, the only problem with this one is the disc is pretty scratched. Um, I think when I bought it, I was just like, got home and I was just like, damn, that's scratched. There's even a scratch on the top of the disc. Um, I think it'd play. So it's too late to take it back now. Months ago, um, 
actually last year, should I say. Um, but yeah, I suppose it's quite a fun game. I think they gave it away free on Xbox Games of Gold. And the last game I'm going to show you is Raven Squad for the Xbox 360, £1.50. Don't know anything about it. It's a first person shooter. So probably a generic first person shooter. Probably came out when they were pumping out first person shooters like crazy on the 360. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a good game. It says here, best of E3 2009. So, <laughs> who knows? So, that is it. That is all the stuff I have to show you. <laughs> um, as you can see, it was an amazing car boot. Awesome Game Boy stuff. I probably should have showed you the Game Boy. Um, say, I got it for six quid. I knocked it down two quid. Yes, I am a, I'm a cheapskate. Um, but the Game Boy was really yellow. Uh, no lens on the front, um, just really, really bad condition. And the box, the actual Game Boy box, was in German. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was worth £6 all day long. I've got the two Game Boy games somewhere. Let me show you that. Which were both complete and in good condition. I put them in box protectors now. And um, that was not that good condition, but you know. And they're not particularly expensive games, but yeah, put them in the collection. Say so, I don't know where that Game Boy's gone. It's probably in the garage somewhere. Gathering dust. Because <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure what I'm doing with it. Uh, but I think it works, so there is that. So, anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully I can get a few more of these out. Got plenty of footage to go through. Um, this was one of my favourite episodes though. Just It's just nice to get retro at the car boot. You just don't see it nowadays. And with that said, enough waffling. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.